Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and there are now officially just under three months until the A-level exams start and because of that I'm getting lots of DMs and comments on YouTube and on Instagram and TikTok asking how you can make the maximum amount of progress now and what you should be focusing on. So that's what I'm going to talk you through in this video. What are the key things that you should be focusing on to make that maximum amount of progress and in particular I'm going to focus on one aspect today which is some key information that so many students aren't aware of and because they don't know this little bit of information they are not maximizing their progress. So I'm going to talk you through that information and share with you something that I've got that's going to help you maximize when you know what that information is. So I know you're busy I'm not going to waste your time if you hang around to the end I'm jumping straight into what is this information and this is knowing the value that your specification gives you in terms of they actually tell you what is going to be on each paper and I don't mean the topics. I think most people know that for AQA, topics one to four is paper one, topics five to eight is paper two, and then topics one to eight is paper three. I'm talking about the types of exam questions. Because on the specification, they show you this table here where they explicitly say paper one, two, and three, what to expect. And where it says AO1, AO2, and AO3, AO1, generally speaking, means testing your knowledge of the theory and practicals. AO2 means testing your application of the theories and practicals and AO3 is more like practical skills in general and you can see here that paper two is over 50% application questions which means if you aren't doing exam technique practice particularly application you're probably not going to do very well on paper two and look at the average across the whole paper 40 to 45% of your A level will be application questions now you might have known that already but if you didn't that may come as a shock to you but you've got three months to now focus on those application skills and that will really boost your grade. Now it's not just the application bit of information I want to draw your attention to, but have a look at the other details as well. So for example, 15% of your A-level will be based on the practical skills. Just under 10% of your A-level is going to be based on the essay and another 10% is the math skills. So basically a lot of your A-level is very skill and exam technique focused. The final bit of information that I want to point out to you before we look at how to improve is look at some of the individual papers, the unique aspects they have. So for example, paper one, the final 15 marks of paper one for AQA A-level biology are extended response questions, which means you'll either get two or three long answer questions. In fact, it's normally three. So it's normally either five marks, five marks, five marks, or five, six, four. So when we say extended response, we mean long answer questions. And then if we have a look at paper two, the final 15 marks is the comprehension where they give you a block of text with the numbered lines. And then it says using this information and your knowledge, answer these questions, which basically means they're all application questions. And then the final thing, paper three, yes, it's got the 25 mark essay, but it also will have 15 marks of critical analysis questions. And these are the ones where you have a method, some data, and they say the students come to this conclusion. Do you agree? Or they might say evaluate evaluate the conclusion, evaluate the data, evaluate the method. So you are critiquing either the data or the method. So that's the key information that I was saying most students don't know and therefore they don't plan their revision effectively to really focus on those exam techniques for the whole A-level but also for each particular paper. And now you know that, definitely consider that for when you are planning your revision. And that leads me on to the next strategy that I want you to think about of how to improve and that is you need to work out from those skills which you already pretty strong at and which are your weaker ones and therefore those are the ones to focus on so you can make the maximum amount of progress. So to do this look at your most recent test and start to see for the different skills where did you lose the marks and you will hopefully see a pattern that for one or maybe two of the skills you keep losing marks that is the one to focus on. Now if you want to know how to improve once you've done that I've got a whole range of resources for example I've got my exam technique playlist. But what I want to share with you today is the free masterclass I'm going to be running at the start of March. Because if you are serious about making the maximum amount of improvement, then you need to be at this masterclass so I can help you for free. So it's running on three days at three different times to try and maximize the likelihood that you'll be able to attend live. So your three options are Monday the 6th of March at 8pm, Tuesday the 7th of March at 7pm, or Wednesday the 8th of March at 
6 p.m. Now this is all Greenwich Mean Time, those timings. And coming to those, you will get access to the workbook that we use, a one hour live masterclass where you'll get to speak to me if you need help as well, plus the recording. So even if you can't make any of those dates, sign up, you'll get the recording and you can then do it in your own time. So if you want to come along to any of these masterclasses, all three are exactly the same. It's just repeated to make sure that you can come. Click the link in the description, sign up now and I'll see you there. And in that masterclass, I'll be going through with you exactly how to analyze your test to work out how to improve, setting a target with you. And then I'm gonna be sharing with you a mega bonus I'm only offering to people who come to the masterclass for one of my resources that is designed to absolutely transform your grade. So hopefully I will see you there. Now, if you've made it this far, then you are clearly serious about improving your grade. So I'm gonna give you a little peek at what is coming just after that masterclass that is designed to transform your A-level grade. And that is my exam technique mastery online course. Now this course is the ultimate course to help you maximize your progress in the final months. It includes, first of all, a couple of lessons to help you identify your strengths and weaknesses, set targets. Then you have lessons on how to conquer data analysis, practical skills, application, critical analysis, extended response, and a bonus lesson on the essay. So basically this isn't AQA specific until the essay lesson. So it'll be worth it for any exam board that you take, going through everything you need to know for those skills to help you to improve. And not only that, it comes with a study community to help give you that support and motivation. If you want even more information on that course, then just comment course below and I'll send you the details or send me a DM on Instagram and I can talk to you about it there. So there we have it. There are three months to go. You now know, hopefully, that exam technique should be equally as important as revising the theory to help make sure that you get those top, top grades. And if you do want to head over to that playlist, I'll link it just here so you can see the exam technique playlist to help you improve. But that's it for today. Hopefully I'll see you at the masterclass. And if not, I'll see you next week as well.